Colbert Super PAC. Thanks to the Supreme Court's Citizens United ruling, Super PACs can take unlimited donations as long as they don't coordinate with campaigns and they reveal their donors, as I have with my crawl of heroes down here. <laughs> and I have been moved by the diversity of the donors, folks. Scottish Americans like Iron Balls McGinty. <laughs> Indian Americans like Mballs S. Hari. And Greek members of the Colbert Nation like Love Porn Kokonopoulos. <laughs> and of course, a hearty thank you to donor Poop Giggle, <laughs> who clearly hails from the nation of Kindergarten Stan. <laughs> so how much have you given? Let's just say we're into numbers I wouldn't want to serve in a federal prison. <laughs> so here is a heartfelt toast to being the king of packs. I just feel bad for the previous king, translucent American Karl Rove. <laughs> whose pack American Crossroads must look pretty pathetic right about now. Jimmy, show me how Carl's doing while I unsuspectingly fill my mouth with champagne. Last year, American Crossroads was committed to raising $120 million, but they have a new target, $240 million. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry, that was a spit take flashback. How does Carl do it? I'd ask him, but you know, Carl's shy. He doesn't do television with the rare exception of every show on Fox News. So, once again, for the scoop, I turn to the closest thing to Karl Rove, a pair of glasses on a ham loaf. <laughs> ham Rove, thank you for joining us. Now, how did you raise all that money? Ooh, nothing, nothing. Man, he, he is tough. But luckily, he is also tender. <laughs> you see, folks, I'm Irish, and my people believe that if you eat a ham in the shape of your rival's head, you gain all their knowledge. <laughs> and all their sodium, too. Here goes. Mmm. Oh, his house has a lot of full-length mirrors. And his bathrobe has no sash. No! No! Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Now I know. American Crossroads evidently was formed in March of 2010. And at the time, they promised that, quote, we have created an organization that will be highly transparent. And with that transparency, during the entire month of May 2010, American Crossroads raised exactly $200. <laughs> Evidently, American Crossroads had passed go. <laughs> so, in June, Rove created a sister group called Crossroads GPS. But unlike your car's GPS, this one only says... Turn right. Turn right. Turn further right. So you see... You see, Crossroads GPS isn't a pack. It's something called a 501c4, which does not require donor disclosure. It's like a secret Santa. If Santa wanted to weaken environmental regulations. <laughs> And while American Crossroads raised only $200 in May, in June of that year, Crossroads GPS brought in $5.1 million. Yeah. That's an increase of 2,550,000%. Those are growth numbers usually seen only in emails for boner pills. Clearly, these C4s have created an unprecedented, unaccountable, untraceable cash tsunami 
that will infect every corner of the next election. And I feel like an idiot for not having one. <laughs> Here to help me make my move to secrecy and obfuscation completely transparent. Please welcome former general counsel to the McCain campaign and my personal lawyer, Mr. Trevor Potter. Trevor, nice to see you. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> Can I carve you some? You want some ham roll? I'll wait till later. No, yeah, well, he's, he's, not, he's not kosher. <laughs> all right. Now, Trevor, I've got all these people down at the bottom of the screen who've been giving me money, individual Americans. But I haven't gotten any of the big corporate money. That's why I have a super PAC. Why wouldn't a corporation give money? Well, they'd be nervous about giving in a way that their name is publicly disclosed. People might object to what they've done, their shareholders, uh, their customers. Okay, so that's where a C4 comes in. A corporation or an individual can give to a C4 and nobody gets to know that they did it, that's right? That's right. Okay, so how, how do I get one? And that money can be used for politics. Oh, great, so, that's, that's, so, that's good too. So we need to get you one. As long as it goes through me, <laughs> it can go to anything it wants. So how do I get me one, Trevor? Well, um, lawyers often form uh, Delaware corporations, which we call uh, shell corporations that just sit there until they're needed. So there's some anonymous shell corporation? Right, and, and I happen to have one here in my briefcase. Let's see it. So, Okay, what's it called? It's called Anonymous Shell Corporation. <laughs> that, that's, got a, that's got a real ring to it, Trev. Regis registered in Delaware. Now, I don't have to go to Delaware, do I? No, it's already been done for you. Okay. <laughs> okay, blah, 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 Anonymous Shell Corporation filed in Delaware. Okay, I got this. So now, now I have a C4? Right, now we need to turn it into your Shell Corporation, your anonymous one. And we do that by having normally a board of directors meeting. And who's on the board of directors? Well, just you. We can just Sounds have like you a nice do group this. of people. So <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's let's call it. Okay. <laughs> let's, <laughs> and I've shattered my champagne glass. <laughs> oh, I hope I hope there's no sensitive electronic equipment down there. All right. Call to order. Let's do this thing. All right. So this says that you are the sole director of the corporation. I am. And that you are now electing yourself president, secretary, and treasurer. Oh, uh, sounds like a great board. And you are authorizing the corporation to file the papers with the IRS in uh, May 2013. So I could get money for my C4, use that for political purposes, and nobody knows anything about it till six months after the election. That's right. And even then, they won't know who your donors are. That's my kind of campaign <laughs> finance restriction. <laughs> okay, okay, so now I've signed it. I have a C4? You have a C4. It's up and going. So without this, I am transparent. With this, I am opaque. That's it. Without it, you get to know. With it, you go to hell. <laughs> without it, here's who gave me my money. With it, you know what? Your mother gave me my money. <laughs> well, I like that, Trev. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I can get uh, corporate, individual donations of unlimited amount for my C4. What, what can I do with that money? Well, that C4 could take out uh, political ads and uh -huh. attack candidates or promote your favorite ones. Uh, as long as it's not the principal purpose for spending its money. No, my it, principal purpose is an educational entity, right? There you go. I want to educate the public that gay people cause earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are probably some C4s doing that. Can I take this C4 money and then donate it to my super PAC? You can. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait, super PACs are transparent. Right. And, and the, the C4 is secret. Mm hmm so I can take secret donations of my C4 and give it to my supposedly transparent super PAC. And it'll say, given by your C4. What is the difference between that and money laundering? <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> well, Trevor, thank you so much for setting me up in this brave new world. Dismissed. Trevor Potter, everybody. We'll be right back.